Hey guys, Rory is here. Welcome back to Spire, the Reignited Trilogy. Spire 3, you're the dragon. We're going to Firewax Factory. These last levels have been so long. Like, I recorded for an hour and a half and only did two levels last time. It's nuts. Oh. <laughs> what an intro. So, oh god, this level's laggy as well. Just like, um, Charmed Ridge. See, I knew Charmed Ridge was going to be a long level. What I didn't expect was for... Oh, <laughs> he's dead already. What I wasn't expecting was for uh, Lost Fleet to be a really long level. Oh, hello. Because of the skateboard it's good to park. see you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. Yeah, so it's Greta from the um, Handel and Greta, or Greta. Handel and Greta. Oh my god, so laggy. It's... That guy just black backflips into the wall. He's back, okay. Good. I was gonna say, am I gonna have to restart the level? Oh, they respawn. Yeah, they they back into the wall. Do I should I restart the game? I said it last episode, I keep saying it. I get this strange feeling, I get that funny feeling like these if these levels here were either very minimally or not at all bug tested. Like, there's so many bugs that have passed through. I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart the game. Okay, it's actually running way better now. Okay. Oh, hello. It it's was, good to see you. I'm gonna skip what she said. Um, it was clearly some kind of a... Uh, like, I'd been playing for too long, or... But it happened, like, straight away in that, in that other level. I played Lost Fleet, and then I played... Charmed Ridge, and then Charmed Ridge, it was just a mess. I feel bad now that I've played the whole of Charmed Ridge in, in like, molasses mode. <laughs> yeah, because this is running fine now. I don't know what it was. Some, some, uh, bug to do with the way that the game loads in data. It just, it got to the point where it was just, oh my god. It just, uh, I think these guys respawn so you don't get any, uh, gems from them. That guy, you get Jim. Something to do with the way it loads the data. Can I, oh, I can eat that one. So, like, if I spit it. <laughs> That's cool, actually. I like that. <laughs> That's really cool. Because it's fireworks factory, we have all these fireworks we can spit. I like having just access to stuff like this. It makes it more fun for me, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that strange feeling like maybe some of the assets from Lost Fleet or something like that some some part of the game Because I, I didn't I didn't turn off the game between the last episode and this episode So something to do with the, either Lost Fleet or Charmed Ridge meant that it was overloading the RAM and It was just trying to have too much in memory at all at once Resetting the game fixed it so Thank God for that <laughs> okay, I can get a firework, no doubt, for that one. Let's grab this firework here. Put it at that one. Yeah! Okay, let's go over to here, just real quick. Grab all the gems that are here. Oh wait, let's check for skill points. Find Agent 9's power-up. Okay. So yeah, it's in the Agent 9 section, which I can't actually do today. That's fine. We'll do that next time. It's noodles. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this is one of the other Asian-inspired levels. There's Bamboo Terrace, and there was and there's uh this fireworks factory. It's sort of two main Chinese-themed areas in this game. Yeah, you you set this guy alight, I think. Can I like? Give those back to him. No. I am wanting to light his bombs. Okay, let's just get these guys real quick. Yeah, some of those guys do actually give you gems because they don't respawn. It's a little bit... A little bit not clear. Not the best design idea to have some of them not give you gems. Especially the ones at the start not giving you gems. And then the ones at the end actually giving you gems. There we go. <laughs> 
I was like, I know he's just gonna keep flicking around. Gonna get this guy. I'm gonna grab a, a uh, firework from somewhere. Uh, fire it off at him. There we go. Got his gem. Okay, grab that, and I'll, let's talk to Greta. It looks like you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind. It should say simply, <laughs> not simply. Simply climb aboard. Climb. Because it wrote, I just have to free my hand. I free my mind. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she's much like in the previous level that she was in. She is. Uh, her and her brother are like some sort of weird superheroes. Like scary superheroes. Capable of all sorts. I like how open this level is. I actually like the the design of this level a bit. Um, oh, that's that's the spawner. Yeah, so they, you can see another one across the way. There are ninja spawners that are hidden up, up here on the edges. That's how the ninjas are constantly up reappearing in that lower section. <laughs> Eat that. <laughs> there we are. Okay, shoot this guy with the firework. I probably could have snuck up on him, actually. So I think you can sneak up on them, and, and if you flame them from behind, you, you light their fireworks on fire. And so they, <laughs> you know, they, they're screwed. Let's find these last, yeah, ninja boxes. Here we are. See? Rhinoc ninjas. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this is one of those classic levels that's like, it's, it's Asian. <laughs> and then it, it basically just takes from all the different kinds of Asian uh, cultures and puts them in one big place. It's Asian fusion, if you're going to put it in restaurant terms. <laughs> oh, there's a little side path here. Hmm. I'll get this uh, breakable box first box. Actually, what the hell would you call that? It's not really a chest. It's not really a box. It's not a crate. Barrel? Not even really a barrel. Just a container. <laughs> I don't know what else you'd call it. What's hidden here? So yeah, this is where Greta, Greta, no, Handel is. I constantly get their names wrong. I think I can see an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way around through these Rhinox to get to it. See, interesting. Mm. See, this is what I was confused about when Spyro 2. Handel used to also have the same voices as Sister, where he'd, you know, have. You have to get the Wynox. But just then, he, I don't think he said Wynox, even though it's written Wynox. I'm pretty sure he just said Rhinox. That's interesting. It's like they copy pasted the. It's like they copy pasted the text. But they didn't, they, uh, when they recorded the voice, they decided to go with a different voice. Piece of shit. Okay, let's just go head to head, so to speak. Yeah, take that. Okay, let's take this back to those bastards at the start. One more. Oh, there's actually a guy up here. I need to use it on. Eh. Eh. Oh. God frickin' damn it. I hate aiming it because it doesn't... It doesn't aim the way I want to. <laughs> the game is bullying me. <laughs> Sorry, a lot of my emotions are coming from the previous game, or the previous episode, sorry. Because as I said before, uh, I'm recording this straight after the first one. Oh. Okay, now let's just bring this rocket back to the guy at the start. If I had missed him just then, which I really thought I had. Ugh. Oh. Okay, let's try and get these guys. I like how despite the fact that they really tried to like fly away from to 
cartwheel away from you. I can still hit him. <laughs> so you can actually see the... You can actually see the ninjas on the roof before they land. If you get close enough, they can't jump away from you fast enough. <laughs> Your flame reaches all. This actually looks just like Agent 9's mission area. I wonder if it is. I feel like it is. Come on, try a little harder than that. <laughs> I say after crying before. <laughs> Fake or otherwise. That's Sam. What a, what a gentleman. I have 105 eggs. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's get a rocket for this guy. Here we go. I've got a rocket with your name on it. Just what you wanted, right? <laughs> okay, we got everything in here. Let's leave. Oh, I was just about to go to the next part, but I noticed there's a gym there. And I think it leads over to that uh, side mission over there. Let's just end the level. I think the end of the level's right through here. It looks like the sorceress has already used the plans to build her own walk-in. We have to destroy it. Just follow me. Yeah, so this, uh, this mission actually um, explains... Oh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she goes through and kills all the remaining enemies for you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, and actually, no, that's Agent Nine's mission. Oh, it's right at the end here. Uh oh. Ah, oh, right. That's how you get back to the end of the level really quickly. They must have been trying to put it into orbit. It's Grady. I don't know if this is the egg that fell off of it, or if I'm gonna have to go back and grab that. If you see Handel, tell him I've gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the Professor's Walk-In. Yeah. Alrighty, so I missed some. I missed some gems. Apparently, there's a gem right through here somewhere. <laughs> Oh, it's the gem that I was looking at before. Uh, yeah, so there's there's a side path here, and the I think the egg that fell down was the one that I got given by uh, uh, Greta just then. But yeah, we got some stuff to do through here real quick. Oh, this is oh wait wait but one second one second. I'm curious. Can I break this? No, I can't. Okay. From there, I thought there was a breakable rock out here. Okay, this is one of those ones. One of those side missions. You'll have to use this combo power-up to take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super flame at the same time. Yeah. Defeat two flying fire dragons. The fire dragons will grow their tails back when left alone. This mission sucked in the original, and it's one of the missions that people have complained about. I've read, or heard, seen people complain about it. Because... It's like, it's one of those ones that was already really frustrating and difficult. Apparently the, the rate that they respawn their tails now is a lot higher than it was before. So, it's just really infuriating. I'm gonna go for the red guy. I was going for the blue guy at first, but I, the red guy is now taking my attention. See, the blue guy's actually respawned all his health now. Ow. Oh. Oh my god, just go up. Please. Okay. I'm not leaving him alone. I'm constantly harassing him. Focus on the one. Yeah, so you, it's like it's your classic like snake logic. Where it's like uh you gotta you gotta get rid of the tail. Or it's like centipede logic. There's a there's a bunch of games that use this kind of logic. Oh, this is the this is the blue one, isn't it? Yeah. My bad. Where's the red one? Did he go through here? I don't want to leave him alone. He'll regrow his tail. I haven't played the original in a while, so I don't actually know how how much harder it is. But I don't really have a, as big a gauge for that as some other people might have. Maybe they fly faster? Oh my god, he respawned. He respawned while I was chasing him. 
So, the whole like not leaving him alone thing is purely to do with you have to hit him, basically. You have to keep hitting him, or else that counts as you're leaving him alone. Oh, where'd he go? Did he fly under? He did. Oh my god. Okay, I got him again. I hit him. Good, good. As long as I keep the hits in. Okay, got him again. He's so nearly dead. Okay, he's got one more hit left, I think. As long as uh, I hit him before he regenerates. Oh, he regenerated a piece. Because he, he, he flew through first, but then the blue guy came through before he did. He's, he's like hiding inside the blue dragon. Not cool. <laughs> Come the hell back here. Oh my god. He regenerated another piece. Please stop. Just stop. Slow down. Please. And to think this is, this is one. I'm just trying to get one of them. Oh my god. He regenerated that same piece. But I keep getting... Yeah, hit him twice in quick succession. I just need to hit him once more, man. It would only take one more, and he would be... Well, okay, maybe it was two. Not bad. Okay, he went down here. Oh my god, he... Because he's just a hit. Well, he was just a hit, at least. He's, like, impossible to hit. And because he's a friggin... Because he's, he's regenerating, I can't actually get the last hit on him. Ah, piece of shit. Ah, he hits me, of course, first try. Ah, oh, where'd he go? Ah, oh, he regenerated a piece. You piece of shit. I need to heal or else I'm gonna die. He's regenerated another piece. And I'm just immediately... Remember what I was saying last time about... Oh, just shut up. Remember what I was saying last time about um, not having invincibility frames in this game? The problem with this game is that it, you you uh, can get hit really quickly, immediately, one after the other. Prime example. Prime example. I got some health back to try and stop myself from dying. Get hit by him and immediately hit the lava and die. Oh my god, you freaking piece of shit. They move so fast that I can't see where they're going half the time. And the fireballs don't, I feel like either the fireballs don't move as fast, or they move faster. All I know is that I can't, I can't like, uh, get the hit in. Oh my god. I can't like lead, I can't hit him with a shot if he's, if he's flying away through those like tunnels. I can't get like a good shot on him. Oh my god, I destroyed him. I destroyed the first one. I'm gonna stop right now and get some health. While well, I can. All I remember is that I hated this mission originally, and I clearly hate it even more now. Yeah, following behind him and shooting his shooting his tail uh, used to be way more plausible. Like, I feel like when he's moving away from me, I have, like, no capacity to... Oh my god, just... I have very little capacity to still hit him when he's flying away from me. Like the fireball goes slower than the dragon does or something. Which is a possibility. It never used to be a thing, but it could be a possibility. Problem is, is that you... You try and get a hit of him so you can catch him on the... On the... Out, on, the on him leaving the tunnel. But then he just freaking hits you with a fireball if you do that. Oh, I got him. I got him. Come on. Oh. And then they just turn around. They just, on a dime, turn around. Mid-air. So not cool. Oh, I hit him twice, but it didn't register the second hit. Damn right. I fished it out of the molten lava. It's Evan. Twin Dragon Destruction. Is that a bronze trophy? Pretty much the hardest thing in, in this entire game. 
It's a bronze trophy. Oh, maybe, no, maybe the score, getting that score on that <laughs> race, on that, um, what the hell's it called? Skate track. That might be the hardest thing in the game. But that's a skill point, so it's probably not going to be an achievement. Yeah, so for this arena area, you just have permanent super flame and super fly. Uh, it's kind of annoying, because when you, normally when I'm running around and I'm doing stuff and then I, and I jump and glide, I hold forward still, because I usually still want to keep moving as soon as I land. But it, when you've got Superfly, you immediately nosedive. Oh yeah, also, now that we're not chasing dragons anymore, I have some time to look through some of the tunnels and stuff. Yeah, like, I didn't actually ever go through this tunnel. Now I can. Okay, we've got everything here, let's leave. Too bad the Superfire and Superflight don't, uh, persist. Yeah, you hop in here, and this will, like, launch you over to the next section. Yeah. Oh, wait, is there a... Can you break the wall? Oh, no, here we are. I just straight up missed these. There's gonna be a bunch of gems I can't get because of, uh, the Agent 9 missions. Okay, did I go down here? I didn't. What's down here? Other than a Whirlwind and Agent 9's level. Or is that, is that what Spark- oh, Sparks is pointing at Agent 9's level. I don't have Agent 9 yet. Dear Spywo, or whatever your name is, give it up. I've got- Oh, no, it's Spyro, but she spelled it wrong, she doesn't know what it is. It is the- I thought it was the Spywo- No, it's- Dear Spyro, or whatever your name is, give it up. I've got the monkey and I'm not giving it back. Love the sorceress. I don't know why it's love, the sorceress. <laughs> but whatever. We got everything so far, let's leave. Well, that was a long mission as well, even despite the fact that I couldn't do it all. <laughs> the levels are just getting longer. Hopefully the levels of the third, sorry, the fourth homeworld are a little shorter than these ones. Because, uh, I want to get this game finished. <laughs> it's, it's been too long. Okay. So all that's left is to do the boss for this area. If I'm not mistaken. Like, that should be it. That should be all the people we need. Yeah, cool. Um... Oh, and yeah, the Charmed Ridge. No one came through the portal, but um, she oh, came back to help us. Don't worry, fairy engineering has never failed. <laughs> I don't know about that. Up aboard, Spyro, and boldly go where no dragon has gone before. Well, <laughs> at least not in a thousand years, at any rate. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Um, what do you got to say? The walkin is ready for launch, Spyro. Hop aboard whenever you want. Yeah. So all these people bring stuff to the table for this. I don't know what bunch of them bring, but um, Greta brought the plans for it from Fireworks Factory level. The rocket's fueled up and ready to go, Spyro. Okay. Maybe he brought fuel? Don't know in what form, but... I guess this hunk of junk is supposed to fly. Oosh, sure glad I ain't the one getting on. <laughs> Alrighty. Well... Let's go. Let's do this. Time for a boss. Go to Midnight Mountain. One giant leap for dragon kind, I think it's supposed to say. <laughs> I think it says, um, because the previous mission was one small step for dragon, and then this one's one giant leap for dragon kind. <laughs> yeah, this is a cool transport method. I like that Spyro is actually inside the rocket. That's cool. And you can see through it in this version. That's cool. That's it! I've had enough! I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters! <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings! Oh yes. my god. Yes! It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them! Oh yes! Smear them and smush them and crack them and crease them! Let me out of here, you! <laughs> Uh, Agent 9. But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> it doesn't matter! As long as I can still collect their wings! What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl! I need them for a spell so I can live forever! Uh, right. wait a second. A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? 
Ooh, if yeah, I she... had my blaster, you'd be singing a different tune. You know what I mean? <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. <laughs> You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get real ugly. <laughs> Brings him out, he's like, no! Previously they wanted to, but I guess because they saw that all their friends kept being killed by me. Yeah. Oh, you didn't even see it be created, you just see... You disappear and it's there. Ugh. What a this horrifying. Might be our last stand, Sparrow. Yeah. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Yeah. Um. How is that thing supposed to kill all of the dragons? Where I come from, there are a lot of big dragons, you know. <laughs> you're, you're trying to tell me that this one flying bat monster is supposed to somehow... Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. I don't remember this at all. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Grab that real quick. I like that rocket. Oh right, my bad. Oh, I keep missing my opportunity. There we go. That's the way to do it. I gotta pay attention to when he's the shields go down. Damn it. Damn right. Damn right. Okay, just come towards me. It's easier if you come to me. Honestly. Okay. I'm just gonna use the green ones. I feel like the, the red ones are useless. They're not useless, but they're just not as useful as the green ones. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a sunseed. It's a sunseed from one of those previous levels. Give me a green one, thank you. Oh no, it's one of the, um... There we go. <laughs> that was actually super easy. Um, it was one of the, uh... Fire, like, flaming goblins or whatever. Oh, I miss what that this dragon's name is. No, it looked like King or something. Or maybe Zing. Oh. We're out of here. What a horrifying boss, actually. That, if Rhydog got turned into a horrific looking bat. <laughs> yeah, I really like the visual look of this, of the rocket. That's really cool. <laughs> Hi, Bianca. Did you bring any more food? Oh, I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. <laughs> You're in a cage, you it's like, seriously? Asshole. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. <sighs> I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's a classic, like, she sided with the wrong side. The, um, I didn't re I had actually forgotten that the sorceress banished the dragons in the first place. I'm like, why- how- how would that one bat creature- if it can't even beat me. <laughs> how was it ever supposed to beat all dragon kind? Spyro, I know you don't trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. Mm. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? Yeah. So once again, like the the final confrontation 
requires an egg number. Like like in the second game, how there was a, an orb requirement for the final boss. Uh, same same basic deal in this game. So yeah, here's the Winter Tundra. No, it's not called Winter Tundra. Midnight Mountains. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and it's got this real cool like crystal look to it. It's a cool looking uh, home world, and I like that all the worlds that you go to, all the entrances look like something to do with the world. That might have already been the case, but I just hadn't noticed it. Uh, I, I didn't really think about it. I remember thinking that in the third game when I got to this home world. Uh, <laughs> it's probably this case in all of them, I just, just don't notice it as, as readily, you know. It's sucky! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I think the way that they do it in this world, you've got like the very, very stylized crystal areas, and then there's just like a, for instance, this one's a little monkey head with like electricity coming out of it, because it's the, it's the Agent 9 mission. Uh, you've got that like, uh, oh. <laughs> you've got the Greek Spartan helmet over there to the left. Uh, this one here is like, I think it's themed like this homeworld is, so it has the same kind of crystals. Then you've got like a tall tower over there, which I think is the, like the secret level. It's like the complete everything level. It's like post boss. Yeah, and there's like a little, uh, statue above this one that shows you it's Egyptian. Yeah, they went for real stylized portal entrances in this area. I'm going to kick myself, aren't I? Because I'm going to look back and I'm going to see that that's actually been the case throughout the entire game. But it's just that it's really noticeable here. Okay, we've got a thief we've got to catch. This one's a little bit difficult to get. It's no more difficult than any of the rest, really. <laughs> Come on. Just flame. <laughs> I, just, I don't like flaming them because you can sometimes miss. It's Mikin. And when you miss, then you lose your progress. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Let's get all the gems around here and we'll go. We'll, uh. Go back and do the sparks level as well. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, this is the boss. I can actually fight the boss already. <laughs> you did it, Spyro. You found enough dragon eggs for me to unlock the portal. Once yeah. I've opened it, you can confront the sorceress whenever you're ready. But be careful. She'll be expecting you. Yeah. So, already got sorceress's lair opened up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna go in there. Of course I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna go in there yet. Yeah, so it's funny that you can, if you've, you know, got all the all the eggs as you've been, as you've gone through the game. If you've just got everything as you go, then uh, you can always just go straight to the boss. Here's the sparks mission for the next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't need to tell me that. I was just trying to get a gem. Um, yeah, so next sparks mission is right there. Uh, but we're gonna go back and do the previous one. What is normally here? This feels suspicious up here. I feel like there's something- Oh, it's, it probably get, makes way once you, um... Do some, oh no, that's probably just where the, the entrance to Sparks Mission is supposed to be. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there's an egg that I intentionally skipped at first. Do I go down there? Oh, there's actually some gems back here. I won't go that way. Uh, I'll get this gem and I'll go get the egg that I missed. I wanted to get all the gem stuff around here first, but I'll just get this now. It's Eevee. Or, yeah, Eevee. I don't think there's any other way you can pronounce that. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get this one. Oopsies. There we go. Okay. Oh, I never ran over here. That's why. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not freeing Agent 9 just yet. Actually, from the point that I did the second Sparks mission, which was a while ago now, I would have had the Sparks find egg, find uh, gems thing. So me using it now isn't like abnormal, it's just p how the game worked before. It's pointing down. It's weird. Like below me? <laughs> They're really furious. <laughs> I 
I don't feel bad about killing these ones now. <laughs> now that I know that's the case. Yeah, so I feel like... Oh, this is what it's it. This is what it is. I didn't even think. I went to that bit and I was like, what is this? <laughs> Yay, that's all the gems and this is probably the last egg. It's Buddy. Yeah. Okay, apparently it's not the last egg. Shh, it's a secret. Hmm, secret egg, eh? Is it just over here? Maybe, oh god. Ugh, ugh, all of the things were bad. All of the things were bad. Ugh. So yeah, maybe it's through here. Maybe you have to get all the, maybe you have to get 149, the fifth, and 150th is the one you get for opening it. Something like that. But isn't there another egg? There's still another question mark egg. God damn it. What the frick? What's that up there? There's like a pillar all the way up the top there. Oh? Oh, okay, nope, this is it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's Billy. Alrighty, that's all the eggs so far. Yeah, see, like, that's the thing, is it came up, comes up with a 5 out of 5, but then there's egg for sale. <laughs> so it looks like a f Oh! It did this again. That happened in Spire 2. Ah, oh, it spawned me back here as well. Imagine that the whirlwind was just not working. It spawns you back there. You can't get back. What are you gonna do about it, eh? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Okay, well, let's go back to the previous world and get the Sparks mission. This homeworld's almost soothing enough for me to Princess get the relief me from all the frustration. The she said there's an egg hidden in there. I think Sparks should check it out. Okay. Sure. Okay. So this is actually one of the ones that, um, once again, I'm going to get an upgrade from this. And the upgrade for this level is actually really good. Is it? Which? What's the one? It is our one. Okay. Oh god, I'm already hurt. Yeah, so the upgrade for Sparks in this particular level is, um, oh god, no! Ah, oh, you piece of shit, I couldn't get the butterfly. Oh my god, this is already a shit show. The, the upgrade from this? I'm locked out. Okay, let's just exit level, restart. Let's go this way first. Oh, I can't, oh my well, the thing is, I started this recording session today with a headache, and I just, oh my god, I'm just, uh, I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> uh, it's only been made worse. <laughs> oh, I see. Why did I do that? I walked straight into that. Like a freaking idiot. See, I'm, I'm more mad at myself than anything. Let's just do this for a little while. I'm gonna come back and grab this guy. Oh, that was a health item. My bad. I thought it was a boost. I thought it was a, um... More of the my shots that I already have. Oh god. Yeah, so those guys like split into smaller guys. <laughs> I actually remember liking this level, this uh, Sparks level. My least favorite was the spider one as far as I recall. It might be the next one after this one though, that was my least favorite. Actually no, it totally is. I remember what the next one is now. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it with passion. Because it's just so hard. It's after you beat the boss, you know, it's after you beat the last boss. So it's of that kind of difficulty. I'm just gonna keep firing. <laughs> just keep firing. Constantly. What's the blue? Oh, I can't go back again. That's such horse shit. I don't know, I don't remember what the blue butterfly is. It's probably the shield one though. So I probably could have used it. I'm 
I'm glad that I'm, I'm, I'm taking it slow and trying to get all the gems as I go. Because I might not be able to go back and get gems. Seeing how I've already been locked out multiple times. That was dumb. That was me being dumb, that is. Okay, let's go right down. Oh. Oh, he respawn- Oh, it's because the, the thing he's standing in front of is actually a respawn after that kind of enemy. This thing. Yeah, those respawners, they- when they- they respawn, like, larger- Oh! They respawn some of the larger, uh, enemies. Hmm. I'm suspicious. Yeah, when they respawn the larger enemies, they take a lot longer to spawn them, of course. Which I'm very grateful for. I don't know what that does. Or can I break doors with it? Maybe. Oh, I have a bubble shield. Yeah, so I was gonna say right at the start, I keep forgetting. No, can't. Oh, what the. Excuse me? That was weird. Um, yeah, this, this particular Sparks mission is great because you, uh, the reward you get is something that's unheard of in the previous Spyro games, and that is that you get the ability to have another hit. Your, your Sparks no longer just has the, uh, you know, like, gold, blue, green, dead, you know. <laughs> you now have an extra layer of health. Okay, I, I'm hoping, I'm holding out hope that I'm... Oh, I can't go through there, why can't I go through there? I feel like the doors in this world are not working the way they should. Did they just require that I've killed everything? Okay, that's, yeah, that's real weird. That's real weird. Cut my losses. Okay. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> oh, it doesn't kill the buddies that he drops. Okay, let's just check the arena. Okay, no gems. Yeah, I feel like this level is going to be... If it's going to be all closed off, like I think it is, uh, then this is going to be a tough one to... Uh... Oh. Oh god, it fires those things at me. Don't grab the health yet. Probably going to need it. Just grab the, the gems. Is this the last gem? It's not. I've missed stuff. Just try and fire one of those at it. Nope. Yay! Oh, that's right, I forgot. I forgot that was its shtick. Oh my god, they just keep spewing them out. How am I ever gonna survive that? It would have been really useful to have the bombs now. Why did I have to spend them early? Does, does killing those little ones count as damaging the boss? It does not. Wonderful. Just friggin' wonderful. <laughs> I get like three or four hits a time on each of them. Oh! There we go. <sighs> Anashuan. Anashuan? 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 Manta Eraser. That was not as bad as the Spider Boss but it's not great either. Okay, there's some gems here. Yay! That's the end of the level. That's like, back, sorry, back, back to the start of the level. Yay! <laughs> Let's get out of here. When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. And now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, allowing you to take one more hit for Spyro. Yeah, yeah. See, this is what I was talking about. Um, I don't know if this, that's the effect already in, a, in, a, in action. I'll just, I'll just get a kill. I'll kill something and see if it, see if Sparks grows stronger. Yeah, th okay, there we go. That's the effect. So when he's got that little, like, gold sparkle around him, he's got an extra hit. 
and then when he when he gets when you get hit for the first time, it goes back to just gold, and then it gets hit, goes back to blue, get hit, goes back to green. Alrighty, well, <laughs> we'll leave this here. We didn't get quite as much done today as I'd wanted to either. Like last time, I didn't. I got only like two levels done, and that was it. Uh, today we got we got a level, the boss, and Sparks' world done, and of course exploring this home world as well. That's that's. That's good progress, that's good progress. There's not, nothing to scoff at, but I was hoping to get, like, more stuff done per level, per episode, sorry, uh, so we can get this game over with. <laughs> While I'm enjoying the hell out of it, it's been too long on the channel, you know, I need, to, I need to get it done, I need to get it finished. We'll see how we go. Next time, of course, we'll go straight for Agent 9. Next time! If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe! <laughs> I apologize that I've been so, like, salty and sassy in these last two episodes. Things have just come out of the woodworks, you know? Things were going so well until <laughs> last episode. Didn't help that I had a headache. Enough excuses. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, 